I'm Luis, one of the field service managers with Dysomatic. Today I'm going to be going over the error light diagnostics on a GEM and MFI unit. I will be demonstrating this on a GEM unit today. On the GEM and MFI units, you're going to have a set of lights that help diagnose the equipment. On your side panel of your control box, you're going to be able to see the indicators here. So first we're going to start off with our water OK light. If the light is on, that is indicating that the water reservoir is full of water. If the light is off, we either have a bad sensor or there's no longer any water in the water uh, reservoir. We're also gonna have a power light. The power light is gonna be indicating when there is power to the unit. If the light is off, we either have no power or one of our safety devices has uh, tripped the system, our high pressure, our low pressure on a self-contained unit. Now we're gonna go ahead and go over our service light, our freeze light, and our bin full. Our freeze light is gonna let us know when the system is either running or a pending startup. If the light is blinking, we're gonna be in a pending startup and that's gonna to be to our delays if the unit has just been turned on. Our bin full light is also gonna do the same thing. If the bin full light is on, the system is full, or you possibly have bad uh, or dirty eye sensors on the bottom of the ice chute. You're also gonna have LED1 and LED3 on the control board. LED1, LED3 are gonna be for our components. One is gonna be for our gear motor and our other LED is gonna be for our compressor. These LEDs are either on or off, they do not blink. So for the service light, if the service light is blinking, the machine has sensed a gear motor over amp draw. In previous videos, we discussed how to check your bearing, how to check your gearbox, and how to check an amp draw on your gear motor. If the light has now turned solid, the machine has reached its max attempts, and now you have to shut the power off to the entire system, not just your on and off switch, but either unplug the unit or kill the breaker to reset your unit.